Mr. Sergey on the street, day two of Bummer Bruce Fest. Ace of Cups in Columbus is a wonderful venue. We were at Baker and Bar yesterday. Thanks for sticking with us. bit about y'all's operation. We had like a 10 person Twitter group chat of just everyone that we knew could go to this festival, right? And we were like trying to look for like an Airbnb to stay at, so we got sidetracked and three of us were like, let's start a Discord. And we actually like got it off the ground. Yeah. Kate's not here right now. Kate really helped us. She's been really savvy in like setting up the actual Discord and everything. And within like 24 hours, yeah. Excellency, Excellency reached, out, reached yeah. out and was like, hey, we've seen what you guys are doing on Discord. Yeah. What is the best Fortnite collab so far? But as many of you know, they have radio stations in the game. They've actually included a lot of like emo bands like on that radio. Like I think it was Pool Kids. And then they also had Oso Oso when they had just released Sore Thumb. Like they had Fly on the Wall on there. Not only can you see like Obi-Wan Kenobi like backflip and fight Spider-Man or something, uh, you can also listen to Oso Oso on the car radio. I think, I think that's the best collab. I just think it's super surreal to see like in real time the growth of this community like nationwide. Most memorable show you've been to and why? I am like a huge arms length fan, right? Really? I went with my ex, who I was still in love with at the time. <laughs> and we drove all the way to Rhode Island. So this is like a 14 hour drive. And he comes out and it's just him on his acoustic guitar playing fucking Blank Slate, the breakup song from Arm's Length. And I sort of realized here that like, this shit's not gonna work out for me. I spend the first half of this song just sobbing. And for the second half of the song, I get on stage and I grab the mic and I stare straight at my ex and just singing the chorus like to them. Biggest shout out to uh, John and Mike and everybody in Summer Brews. They're the homies. I've only been a part like of the Discord for a few weeks, but I'm just really happy I found you guys. This is like the first road trip I've taken by myself just to meet random people on the internet. But <laughs> it's, it's been pretty fun so far. And stream Quinnithy and Red Sun. Absolutely. Yeah. Listen, we just want to know uh, what's going on. It's like farmers markets and like yeah. adulting, like that millennial life, you know? <laughs> yeah. Trying to stave off the ever appealing call of death. Uh huh, yeah, the void. <laughs> um, most memorable show that y'all have been to and why? There was this tiny little basement bar here in Columbus called Bernie's. The ceiling of the venue was just seven or eight feet high, bows piping, and no security. The stage was about 18 inches tall and just, you know, getting hit with spit from any band that played there and sweat flying off and that was one of my favorite places to see a show. What have you guys learned about yourselves recently? I can make mistakes and still keep going, you know, I mean we're, we're human and it's okay to fail. Everybody's just one bad event or bad day away from snapping or making really poor decisions. It's just a matter of trying to find little things to hold on to to keep going. We didn't make it to day one, so we're excited to be here and see all the bands for day two. Yeah. Uh, my favorite fun fact is that Nicolas Cage went into bankruptcy because he was so devoted to filing the Holy Grail, so much so that he bought a castle in Europe and shipped it stone by stone to the United States. And that's why he's in so many movies right now, because he's paying off all of his uh, IRS debt. How did y'all get into the scene? I went to school in Illinois, like the middle of nowhere. There was a lot of house shows and stuff like that, so we just started there. And and I moved here and uh, there's even more stuff now, so just kept going. Yeah. Cool. Well, y'all have a great time. Thank you so much for talking to us. Hell yeah. Ow. Yeah. We love DIY emo. We saw you yesterday. I'm a marketing and communication coordinator for a school district. I'm an early preschool teacher. I know I don't look like that. I used to be a hot topic manager. They pay their employees $9.24 an hour to be managers. What's the uh, soda of the season? Soda of the season? <laughs> Diet Coke, obviously. What do y'all say, pop? Or soda of the season just sounds better, you know? Yeah, yeah it does. Yeah, it does. 
We fuck with that. Yeah. And I have One Direction in my locket right now. Can we get a zoom of the One Direction locket? One Direction. Locket. I have a tattoo for them too. Okay, cool. I'm a bad person. I used to get really stressed out driving, especially here, but now that I've like lived here a little longer, I don't dislike being in the car as much as I used to. Best band to scream in the car? You're probably Hot Mulligan and Falling in Reverse. What? Axolotls can like regenerate their limbs. Oh, okay. I thought you said axing off someone's limbs. I have one. <laughs> And he like lost a couple toes and they just screw back, so. special about Ohio ice cream. Really? Yeah. We both work in mental health. We really like Jenny Bones. Really? She talks a lot about, you know, being a mental health advocate. So I think like what it comes down to is that it could be a great way to, to cope listening to music, having someone to relate to, building that community, feeling that sense of a connection with other people where maybe they don't feel as alone. I actually research like sacred moments in music. We interviewed a bunch of professional musicians and they talk about how when they play music it feels like they're like one body. Everyone's breathing in at the same time. These moments feel like extraordinary. They become kind of timeless. When I saw Blink-182, I think in 2012, I remember just tearing up and I just ran into the mosh pit and then I lost my shoe uh, for the rest of the show and I just saw it flying back and forth. You know, if you go around the room right now and just go one, two, one, two, every second person will have thought about ending their life at one point. There are other people who might understand where you're coming from when you're going through a dark time. What's the uh, soda of the season? The soda of the season? <laughs> What the hell? I don't know. We don't drink a lot of pop. Yeah. Honestly. What uh what have y'all learned about yourselves recently? That I like five inch shorts. It's the way to go. Two daddy. Go to daddy. What's a question that y'all wish I had asked you? Do I have a pet mouse? Do you have a pet mouse? No, I don't. But remember Stuart Little? What? They didn't have a pet mouse in Stuart Little. They had a son who was a mouse. Alright, thanks a lot, y'all. I'm gonna scoot over just ever so slightly. <laughs> But thank you. Uh, are y'all uh, y'all good? Yeah. Okay, cool. What have y'all been up to? I don't think we're very exciting people. We just work and live. <laughs> I disagree. Okay, well, thank you. Yeah, thank you. We're going to an anime convention in August. That's got us excited. Best anime. Neon Genesis Evangelion. What have y'all learned about yourselves recently? That's a tough question. Self-reflection. That's a tough question. Self-reflection. I can answer that. I have a lot of patience. What? Patience. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> it's a good quality. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> um, the following clip is not sponsored yet. What's going on? We got an event at Ace, and I'm over here cooking barbecue. Been in the Clinville neighborhood for at least 12 years, and I've worked here for about 10 of them. We sell barbecue every weekend, rain or shine. What would you uh, recommend we try? Get the meat sweats if you guys all just want to split something. It's like a whole platter of all yeah. this stuff, so get okay. a little bit of everything. Hey, man, uh, let me get the uh, meat sweats and uh, two cheer wines, please. Unboxing video? Sheesh! No. Can I have this? Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, you're good? I bought a big talker. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Yeah. See what topics we discuss. Sure, sure. Every weekend I'm trying to find a show to go to. That's really it. I'm just here to fucking see Jetty Bones, and I met some neat dudes, so I'm just vibing. I also saw you have a D20 tattoo, and now I want to talk about D&D with you, so that's kind of where my little brain worms are going. We're hanging in we're there. We're just trying to have a good time. Yeah, that's what we're here for. We're releasing some demons. Foo Fighters 2018. That was a fucking amazing show. Am I allowed to cuss? 
I made up a four loco concoction. I let it marinate for a year, brought it out again. Okay, goblin juice is this. You take two four locos, you take a Mike's Hard Blue Raspberry. I don't know if they make those anymore. A little bit of Bud Light Lime, a little bit of Genesis. That's goblin juice right there. I'm not a fan of the Four Locos or the Goblin Juice. <laughs> I've tried it. <laughs> My brother took me to a free throw concert. I was recently separated from ex-wife, so I was in a depressive state. First time I got into like a little bit of a push pit. Really exhilarating. Uh, being able to, I guess, like let some emotions out on the floor. I saw the Wonder Years. The roof was leaking inside, so it felt like it was raining indoors, and I was just like weeping. So I was like, is this rain or are these tears? I can't tell. I love my friends. I love my brothers, my concert homies, the people I meet at concerts. I second what you said. Oh yeah. I've really learned that like life is just like learning what life's about and it's fucking bonkers bananas. <laughs> you said we could swear here? Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> that dog looks haunted. Yeah. That dog's angry. I'm here with Slovakia, the 1975, and Ian Mackay. You are John Michael Sarah William. Palin. A lot of people would think it's fucked up with me being here. Speaking as my dad, Elon Musk, is stuck in a submarine 7,000 feet under the planet. But I just want to be at a Michael Sarah Palin show, and like, that's called fucking healing, so you can deal with it, internet. I think the Grimace shake is pretty good. I like it. What do I think people should know to be better? What do I think people should know to be better? Any fun facts for us? I can take a fucking interview hostage if I want to. I wish you'd asked about our snacks. I found a special flavor of Mountain Dew and you know nothing about it. I seem to have misunderstood every question thus far, so you shouldn't be giving me the mic. How, how you doing? <laughs> so much, so much worse now. No, I <laughs> I really like like small time like open mic stuff and like just like all the little like organic quirky stuff that happens in Columbus like, Especially like around campus and like downtown and stuff like you see like little communities of people like organizing Putting on their own stuff and just making it happen I had a like ex who went to a bunch of shows and I started going with them and they go like crazy at every show Like no matter like how big how small like they're in there opening that shit up and I was like I need to do that too You're not getting anywhere by being a doomer and thinking that nothing matters and it's all fucked There's kernel of truth there. Irony poisoning is is bad. When people are so deep in like edgy humor that they like start believing the things that they say and they don't realize that their jokes are harmful. Just because something's a joke doesn't mean it. you can just say it and it's fine. It's no, not bad to care about things. No one gets out of this alive but we can at least have a good time exactly, while we're at it. Exactly. <laughs> this is new. She's amazing. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> Here at Ace of Cups in Columbus, I'm actually talking to a really passionate metal fan. How's it going tonight? All right, yeah, cool. Um, I just try to hold this spot. I'm sorry if I get a little sweaty, you guys. Yeah? All right. How are y'all doing? Good. How are you? Not too bad. Oh, amazing. Nice. No, I can't do this. This is terrible. <laughs> Let me get a chair. Fuck this. What have y'all been up to recently? I work at a little gay barista job. Uh, Java Central, Westboro, Ohio. Come hang, give us money, you know? I just kind of hike at work um, and treat trees for an invasive insect. <laughs> I just had a tumor removed from my neck. And I had the toppest surgery you could get. <laughs> I've learned that I have issues communicating my needs to the people that matter to me. See a therapist, gotta work on that. I just recently found out that I had hyperthyroidism. That's all I got. Good to regulate. I'm sorry. What's something that people should know more about that they don't? Columbus, absolutely. 
There's a lot more going on here than people think. I have a lot of hot takes. I don't know. Living as like a trans person in this current political climate, it's it's a lot of fun. I will tell you that. I think a lot of people are more transphobic than they realize. Like society itself sets these hard boundaries for gender, and it's like women have to act like this, men have to act like this. I think a lot of people assign these kind of like traits to trans people, and they try to clock them that way. And it's not. I don't think it should be something that matters. Is there a question that uh, y'all wished I had asked you already? Why are you here? Why are you here? Why are you here? No, no, no. I, why are you here? <laughs> <laughs> support your local artists. Uh, support musicians, graphic artists, like anything you can do. Give them your money. Go there. trees! Go trees! <laughs> Don't start forest fires! <laughs> That's all. Okay, thanks. What have you been up to? Yeah. Well, that's kind of an interesting question. I've been up to whatever the fuck I want. And not giving a fuck, it's free. In you know, one word. <laughs> uh, care to comment? No, I agree. Life is way too short to give a fuck about shit that don't matter to you if it's not paying your bills or uh, giving you head. I'm capable of anything as long as I want to do it. That's really it. I used to care a lot about what people thought of me, but I realized as I got older, we die alone. So, you know, sometimes you just gotta do you and the people who fuck with you, they're gonna be there. Yep. Uh, well, this is always fun to share. I teach cannabis cultivation at the Cleveland School of Cannabis. I've been growing oh, weed. Yeah. I've been growing weed like 16 years. I'm one of like 60 certified cannabis sommeliers in the world, so like I take this dumbass serious. I actually got robbed by the cops and everything. All the charges got dismissed because the cop killed himself in jail after the FBI came in. <laughs> no, it's <this is> real. <laughs> Damn. So, and it paid off because now I teach the shit and I'm traveling around and yeah. doing consultations and doing whatever the fuck I want. Yeah. I don't know, a lot of people seek guidance as opposed to looking inward when they want to like figure shit out. Pick up a skill that you don't think you need. Learn Swedish. Learn how to be an engineer. Learn how to change a tire. Learn how to eat pussy. It'll, it'll get some of your bills paid. <laughs> Learn how to take photos in like proper lighting. Like, learn one skill that you don't think you should need to know. You can sometimes turn that into like a hobby that gets you paid. You can go ahead and hit my uh, cash app, uh, Wintersomnia. You already know. Uh, yeah, we'll put a little Easily one of the most relaxed interviews I've ever been in. Been in a couple. You're doing a good job. Keep up at it. How's it going, y'all? Going good. And you are? Fan? We are sign language. Yeah. Nice. So are they. Playing Focella. Ding 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 ding! Yippee! 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 Slay. What is the soda of the season? Sprite. There is no other soda but Sprite. Uh, the Liquid Death Tea. They have tea? Yeah. Fire. Yeah. Three flavors too. Liquid Death, sponsor me, please. Yeah, no booze, baby. Hey, what day are we yeah. on? Day 175, no booze. Hey, let's fuck. You heard it here first. Today, I learned that if your guitar string breaks during your set, do not rip it out of your guitar. You will bleed. and does graphic designs and flyers and her Instagram at is Foul Play Studios. I made the flyer for Bummer Bruce. Yeah, awesome. What's up? Tell me what you've learned about yourself recently. I'm sorry you gotta come in on this one. You can choose to be a participant in your life or you can choose to own it. And I'm taking a lot more steps to own it. I just turned 30, you know. It's about that time in my life to get my shit together, so. What is something that more people should be aware of or know about? The Columbus Hardcore Scene. Ohio Hardcore. Ohio on top, baby. I wish you would have asked me about my dog. What about your dog? He's awesome. Anymore? I love him. That's sweet. <laughs> She took my question before me. I was gonna tell you that I wish you had asked her about her dog. What is your favorite set of the day? Sign language. 
Chef Boyardee is dead and he's buried in Ohio. Guitar solos are lame. You literally play a guitar solo in our band. Well, my guitar solos aren't lame. <laughs> They're extra lame because I'm not even showcasing any skill. Twizzlers are nasty and they taste like wax. Uh, Jimmy John's is trash. Jersey Mike's fucks way harder than way Jimmy John's. Hard. We have hot takes about cold cuts. It's nice. If you're thinking about starting a band, do it. I don't care if it's bad at first. I don't care if it's good. Scenes only grow if you're going to help it grow. Just get people involved. This shit needs you. Like if you're not musically inclined, make flyers, make zines, take pictures, take videos, do interviews, do podcasts, do all kinds of shit, you know? Going to shows has been the best part of my life and then joining a band has made it even epicer. so do it. fucking something, anything that makes you want to get up off the couch. I think everybody has a spot in the scene if they want to make their spot there. Um, everybody has a place, um, especially in Ohio hardcore, yeah. Thanks so much, thanks so much for talking with us, y'all. Um, do y'all want to sign my jacket? Day two of Bummer Brews is done. The night is winding down. Uh, we just wanted to say thank you so much for having us to Mac. Uh, thank you so much for bringing us out. Um, I wanted to show off the rest of the crew. We have the CEO of the Summit Shack, Connor. These two wonderful lads, the Loon Base crew. Um, I want to say that I'm going to cry for every day, probably the rest of my life. There will be way more Bummer Bruce Fest, and probably sign language will play all of them. And I love everyone that played, and I love everyone that's here. Thank you so much. Best day ever. Yeah. You have a wonderful night. Bye-bye. We're done. That's not shotgunning. That's just drinking water in an absurd way. What are you doing? Why'd you do oh, that? It's the flow. So the flow rate was better. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>